have when you have somebody to identify with you and you have somebody to pray with you, you have oh? somebody to cry with and to laugh with. Mm. Nga nakay kauban ba? Nabito na kay katambaya yung bitaw nga nakay kaiyakan, nakay ka, katawanan. Eh, dili pud nimo sa katawan, but kauban nimo ba nga magkinatawanay mo nga for ya day tabay aber. <laughs> diba? Kanindot ana. You're not the only one. No kay nga naman, wala ka nang ginusara. The enemy wants you to think you're the only one. Mm. Pero ang yawa gusto niya maghuna-huna at ang ana, nagstruggle na pud siya. Ikaw ra man good na. Yeah, that's what he wants you to think. You're the only one with oh. that struggle. Mo na gusto sa yawa nga maghuna-huna ta, atoa ra ni nga struggle. Kita ra nga struggle ani. Why does he want you to think that? Because he wants to isolate you. He wants to separate you. Ba? Ganong family. Ganong gusto sa yawa igsuon nga nga maghuna-huna bitaw ta nga. Ala, ako ra gyud tingali ni nga struggle. Wala lang nga struggle ani. Kay gusto niya nga malahi ka, bulagon ka gikan sa imong espirituhanon nga pamilya. That's why Oh, I'm not going to church this morning. Mm. Ulan ka ayo. Iba? Mao na nga naay mga buntag igsuon nga tungod ani nga mga struggle ba nga naay mga buntag nga uy ulan man tingali ko mo simba. Ikapoy mako katulgon ko. Then then the next week it gets easier. Eh. Na. Then pagka sunod eh, semana, whatever. whatever. Mm. Sunod they semana. They don't really want me anyway. Pagka sunod semana, masayon na dayon mo ingon nga. Ay wala may nakabantay nga wala ko ni Simba. Di ang puti lang nga si ganahan ako. Okay ra diri ra ko akong habol mo. <laughs> How many of you ever thought they don't really want me anyway. They okay. don't really care about me. Pila man ato diri igsoon. Kanang tinuod nga naguna-una bitaw nga siguro wala huh? wala sa ako mga churchmate wala pakialam na ako. Wala mga tao dito nga nagpakialam na ako. Isa ang kamot. <laughs> Let me see your hand. Let me see your hand. Kanang wala char. Nakanabang wala lagi na wala lagi na mabusta na ako karong anyawa. Because I wake up in the morning and I think, I think, does the church even care about me? Do they even care? Diba? Oh. Do they even care about, I don't even think they even care if I'm here or not. Okay, si Daddy Bitawig, so na po yung mga Sabado nga yung ana, ay, ano mo simba pa man ko, murag wala mo po sila ipakialam. Naku. Okay na matingali kung wala ako. You think you're the only one? O diba? Abin mo, ikaw rin gawin na ako na ana. You know, I preach and preach and preach and preach and preach and preach and Nothing seems to change. Oh my God, I'm just going to quit and go back no? to America. Naapot sa ingana nga mga panguna-una igsuon nga nga mamata bitaw sa susige ko wali, 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 wali pero wa magyapoy na usab. Wali na lang ko America. Oh no, I'm telling you the truth. Tinuod. Sometimes Usahay. Sometimes it feels that way. Usahay, ingana ang iyang mabati. Murag tinuod nga pagbati. But I know the secret of feeling is not the truth. Apan, kabaluko nga, ang sikreto ni Ana Igsuon, nga kining ako mga pagbati, di na ang kamaturan. I know, I know that feeling is a lie. It's a lie. Nga kabaluko nga, kanang akong gibati, bakak na. So I don't give in to it. Munang dili ko mo bigay, dili ko mo mo uyun. Not true. Kaya mo ingon ko, hindi mo na tinuod. So but sometimes we feel like that. Pero usahay, inga na nga itong mabati. You know, I was going to get up and pray and they took the microphone away from me. I didn't get to pray the last three weeks in a row. <laughs> no? Like, ano bang usahay ba nga? No, ganahan kayo kung mag magampo din. Tulo na yun ka Sabad. No? Ako na ang tamagampo. Gikuha ni Daddy na ako ang mic. Cool, no? <laughs> Sometimes I have to say, you waited too long. <laughs> No, muna usay mo ingon si Daddy nga. Next Dugay. time be the first to Wait. come up and pray. Ano mo ingon si Daddy nga? Dugay magkay ka naghulat <laughs> doon. Un pauna na ini. Sakmita ang microphone. Fix on. I do. I do my best to try to follow the leading of the Lord and I and, and I fail a lot of times but I try my best. How the meeting flows and goes, it's up to me. Hmm. Fix on. You know, sa tanang panahon, ginasulayan gyud ni Daddy nga mosunod sa kung unsa ang pagpamuhat o pagpanglihok sa balang espiritu mo. Na yung mga panahon nga, mapakya siya, pero siya yun ang naga, nagadesisyon nga nung so, muundang na tag-pray. This is going to be the last one to pray. I won't change my mind. Mm, muna, kasagaran ni Son, may ngun siya nga, siya na mo ilas nga mag-ampo, di na yun mausap ang iyang panguna. So don't, don't feel bad. Don't take it personal. No, ayaw i-personal nga. Basi naguna-una ka nga, di yun sila ganang nga mag-pray ko. Can I, can I just sing one song? No. <laughs> no, no. no. <laughs> Sometimes yes, but so, like no, sorry, because 
in my heart, I feel like the Lord said, no, I want you to go this direction now, go this way. Mm. So, no, anong wengon siya dili? Why? Anong wengon siya dili? Tungod kay, mabati niya nga, ang iyang masense nga, si Holy Spirit nag-iingon niya, dili, kini ang inyong direction, kini ang inyong buhat. But it doesn't mean I'm right, I'm always right, but I still have to make decisions that are hard. Nung dili man sa tanang panahon, makaingon siya nga, kanang insakto siya, pero siya may mabuhat na decision, and lisod ni nga decision, Most importantly, we want you all to know that the Lord is incredibly in love with you. Amen. No, apan, sa pagkatinood ik soon, ang ginoo, grabe, git kaayo ka in love sa imua. He's lovesick. He's actually lovesick for you. No, lovesick siya ik soon, but pasabot ka na bitang tungod sa yung pagigugma sa imua, gihilantan siya. He's lovesick for you. Tinood na ik soon, nga lovesick si Jesus sa atua. You're like, oh, I can't accept that. Oh, but it's the truth. No, maong kamatura ni Kson nga grabe ang iyang pagigugma in love kay isa sa imo ah. As much as much as mom and I love you, cannot compare to the love of the Lord for you. Mm. No bisan pag unsa ka dako ang gugma ni daddy ug ni mommy para sa atoa, Kson di gyud makakumpara sa gugma sa Ginoo para sa atoa. Yeah, it's the truth. Tinuod. Okay, so we're all invited into this relationship with the Lord. Amen. Mao nga kitang tanan ni Kson, giimbitahan sa Ginoo nga maka maka kana bitong nga mo 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 paambit ani nga klase nga relasyon ka uban ang Ginoo. So this the spirit that's attacking us. So kini nga espiritu nga nagaatake sa ato a. Um, one of these spirits is called the spirit of lethargy. No usa sa mga espiritu ni ang usa sa mga espiritu nga gaatake sa ato a mao ang espiritu sa pagkatapol. Uh, no let I want to see how many can relate to this. No pilay makarelate ani. Kana bitong kapoy okay. tapol. This is the definition. The money ang definition or ang pagpasabot sa word ng lethargy. If you if you can relate to any of this, I want you to raise your hand. No, kung makarelate ka, iisay mo ang kamot. Please. Hmm. Okay. A state of being drowsy. Ang estado ng daw kanunay ng mabati ni mong walay lami or katulgon. To feel dull. Ng kanang bati ni mong ng kanang walay latoy. Listless. Or kanang walay kinabuhi. Unenergetic. Wala kay Gahum or wala energy, indifferent. Usay dili niyo wala kay pagbati. Lazy. Katapul. Apathetic. Wala kay pagbati dili niyo mafeel. Sluggish. Kanang katapul kapu isigin lang yun dihida. Stagnant. Or kanang nagpabili na lang ang maoras sa gihapon. Forgetful. Makalimtanon. Okay, how many? If you can relate to any of that, raise your hand. Pila ato na karelita. Look, look. Oh, lantawa sa palibot. <laughs> she, ra she raised her foot. She raised her foot too. Si Mia, tana, napitiil. Wait, wait, understand. It's a spirit. Na? Sab ta iksuon niya, espiritu ni. It's attacking us. Nga nag-aataki sa atua. It's attacking all of us. Nga kitang tana nang ginaataki. It's not just you. It's a spiritual attack. Usa ni ka espiritu, hanon nga pag-ataki. Okay. I have the same attack on me. Siya mismo ay so na siya ng upod. Si Daddy, si Mami, mo nga mga atake. I spent the last three months really trying hard to fast. No tulo ka tulo ka bulan sa milabay nga tulo ka bulan ng soon. Grabe ang pagpaningkamot ni Daddy nga mag magpuasa. I fail miserably. Ug miserable nga pagkapakyas yun. And I fasted many times over the years. No si Daddy ng soon. Pila na ikapila na ni siya nga nag-fast o nag-puasa sa pila ka mga tuig. I've done 40-day fast with no food. Nakasulay na siya nga mag-fasting o 40 days nga walay kaon-kaon. 21-day fast, no food. Many, many, 10-day fast, no food. Bainti-uno ka adlaw, pulo ka adlaw, nga walay kaon. So I'm not new to fasting. Munang para sa iya, dili nag-yud bago ang pag-puasa. But the struggle has been tremendous. Pero ang pagpu ang ang struggle bitaw niya grabe gyud kaayo karon. I'm like what's wrong with me? Kaya ko ingon sa bang so lumang ko ani nga. Hindi naman bagus ko ang pagpuasa. Because I thought it's just me. Kay abi niya nga ako ra tingali ni no. And then the Lord revealed. Mao ang Ginoo nagpadayag. It's a spirit. Nga espiritu na. He does not want you to fast. He does not want you to experience breakthrough. Iya pala. No so espirituhanon day ni nga pagatake sa atoa igsuon. Nga, dili gusto sa yawa nga makadawat tao ka ng pusan or breakthrough. It's not me. Bot pa sa bot, dili na ako. Now, as soon as I realize that, I'm like, oh, I got victory now. So, sa diya nga na-realize na niya, dili di ni ako. Dili di ako ang problema. 
Di ba? So makadawat, nakadawat sa kadaugan. Because if it's the spirit, like I, I can attack the spirit. Mm. E di ba? Kaya naman, kung espiritu di ay ang rason o ang problema, maatake ni mo siya. We can go after that spirit. Pwede na ito sa gukdon. It's harder when it's the flesh. No, lisod siya kung ang ato ang kagalingong unod. For me, it's harder. Para sa iya, lisod, mas lisod. We're talking about your will. Okay, ang atong giskutan mang good, imong kagaling ka babuton. But boy, if some spirit's trying to fight me, I'm like, come on, bring it, <laughs> because you're already defeated. You're already defeated. Amen. Di ba? Pero kung espiritu mang good igsoon, humana mang good. Pildi na gid na siya daan, atakiho na lang ni mo. So the Lord revealed that your, your family is under the spirit of lethargic attack. Hallelujah. So ang ginoo igsoon, nagpadayag kang daddy, Nga ang imo ang pamilya, nganong naingana na sila, tungod kay giatake sila sa espiritu sa pagkatapul or kakapoy okay. or kawalay gana. Now that we have that knowledge and understanding, now we can fight it. So karon, nakabalo naman taon sa din itong kontra, pwede na nato sa, pwede ta makigbisog. And now we understand, it's not just me, that it's almost all of us. Mm. No, so karon na sabta na ito, nga, dinirari ako ang giatake ani, halos kaming tanan. See, because the enemy does not want that breakthrough to take place. Kaya naman ni Son, ang yawa, dili siya gusto nga makadawat ta o kalampusan. But we're going to experience breakthrough. Amen! Apa ni Son, makasinati ta o breakthrough. We're going to experience the manifest presence and the glory of God. Amen! Masinati na ito, Son, ang manifestasyon sa presensya sa ginoog sa iyang himaya. And no devil's going to stop us. No man is going to stop us. Walay demonyo, walay tao nga makapugong ka nato. Because we can overcome that spirit. Kay pwede gud nato madaug na ang espiritu igsuon. But we have to understand why is it we don't want to come to church? Why is it we don't want to come to prayer? Why we don't want to get up early? Why we don't want to we don't want to do this, we don't want to do that. Why we don't want to fast and pray? No mo nang apan magsugod gud sa tanan igsuon. Kinalan masabta nato. Nga nung wala namang kuy gana. Nga nung wala, di na ko ganahan mo matawag sa'yo. Di ko ganahan mo appeal, Lord. Di ko ganahan magpuasa. Di ko ganahan magbasa. Di ko ganahan magampo. It's not just your will that's the problem. Buot pa sa butik soon. It's the spiritual attack against you. Buot pa sa butik soon. Dili lang ang imong kaugalingong kabubuton ang problema. Apan, aduna di ay ispirito nga nag-aatake bato ka ni mo. So, Mel, Mel, I want you to come up here. Ano yung ganit, Mel? Come here. Now, I'm going to pray for you. Magampo siya para sa imo ah. Okay, I just want you to stand here. Hindi gramel. Okay. No, just turn around right here and stand there. Just close your eyes. Okay. Now, just wait on the Lord for a minute. Wala ta ang ginoo. Now, the reason that I'm doing this is because this is what the Lord showed me last night in a vision. Ang anong ginabuhat ni niya tungod kay nagpakita ang ginoo pananaon sa iya ah. Okay. Because he wants to minister to you. I want to let him allow him to minister to you. Okay, and I want I want to let him allow him to minister to you. I need somebody to come stand behind her. Tindogi siya sa likod, please. Please, don't touch her. Don't. Ayos siya kawiri. Don't touch her. Ikaw lang lin. Just stand behind her. So what what I what I saw was the struggle that you're going through. Unsang ako nakita mo ang imo ang pakikbiso ng imo ang kalisdanan ng ginagian. And you, you think it's just you. Unya nagtuo ka nga ikaw ang problema. And it's not you; it's a spiritual attack. Pero dili na ikaw, apan espiritu hano ng atake. Because there's an incredible call of God on your life. Tungod kay na idaku ka ayong atawag ang ginoo sa mong kinabuhi. There's an incredible call of God on the life of John D. Na idaku ka ayong atawag ang ginoo sa kinabuhi ni John D. And your daughter. Ug sa imong anak. And your brother. Ug sa imong exoon ng lalaki. Ug mga exoon ng mga lalaki. And the enemy has been attacking you for as long as many months, maybe years, because he doesn't want you to fulfill your destiny. Nya ang yawa, dili lang mga bulan tingali ang iyang pagatake sa imo apan siguro tuig na tungod kay gusto niya nga pugnan ka sa imo ang kapalaran. So the Lord wants you to get delivered and healed of that today. Gusto sa ginoo nga himuon kang gawas noon o ayuhon ka ni ana karong adlaw. So first, Mel, understand it's not you. Mel, una sabta nga dili na ikaw, dili ikaw ang problema. 
that the attack is not your fault. Nga ang kana nga atake dili wala kay sala ni ana. Dili agi kay nakay ginabuhat nga sayo. But it's because of your destiny. Apan tungod na sa imong kapalaran. And the enemy wants desperately to stop you. Mnya ang yawa gusto jud kaayo ni respirado ang yawa nga pugnan ka para mabuhat nimo na. So we're just going to invite come and bring healing to bring deliverance to you of those mindsets. Amen. Ug atong imbitahon ang espiritu sa Ginoo nga ayuhon ka, himon kang gawas non gikan ni ana nga pangunauna. Ready. Andam na ka? Okay, so just let's just wait. Amen. And, uh, can I get somebody up there on the guitar? Go up there and get on the guitar, please. I'm not in any hurry, just wait. Wala tagad dali. We're going to let the Holy Spirit do his work in her. Tugutan na tong balang espiritu nga mamuhat sa iya. It's not the work of a man. Dili ni buhat sa tawo. It's the work of the Lord. Apan buhat ni sa Ginoo. Okay. Let's just wait on God. Let's pray. Wala to na to ang Ginoo magampot. I want to see what the Holy Spirit is going to do. Gusto na ko makita kung unsay buhat to sa Ginoo. So what the Lord said to me Identify the spirit that's attacking. Ilha ang espiritu nga nagatake. Expose the spirit that's attacking. Unya ipadayag kung unsa ang espiritu nga nagatake. Remove the spirit that's attacking. Tang tanga ang espiritu nga nagatake. And replace the spirit with the spirit of the Lord. Amen. Ukulihi kini ng espiritu sa espiritu santo sa ginoo. So for all of us right now. Para sa tuang tanan karon. The spirit's been exposed. No, ang espiritu ikso na padayag na siya. Tasak pa na siya. No, espiritu sa katapulog walay gana. It's been identified. Na ilan na siya? Been exposed. Na padayag siya. Now we know you're not the only one. Arun ka baluta ng wala ta na ginusara. Now it's time to remove. Arun mo ni ang panahon ng tang tango nato ni. Now what's going on with Mel is it's more than just that spirit of lethargy. No ang 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 unsay ginabuhat sa kinoo ay so on. Dili lang ni espiritu sa sa pagkawalay gana. What the Lord really wants to address with you part in part is your identity. Apan apil sa gusto ng address sa ginoo sa imo apod, mao ang imo ang pagilas sa imo kaugalingon. Because part of your struggle is you never feel like you're good enough. Tungod kay apil sa imo ang ginapakikbisugan, mao nga bati ni mo kakanunay ka ng kulang, dili pagyut ego tanan na imong effort. And you wonder, am I ever going to be good? Unya sigi ka maguna huna ng ego raga gyud ako ang pagbuhat. Well, you've already been chosen. Pero may algi buhat. Ipili na kada sa ginoong. You were already chosen by the Lord, foundation of the world. What before you were even born, you were already chosen. Wala pa ang pundasyon sa kalibutan, Mel. Wala pa ka na himugso ni ng kalibutan. Nagipili na kaniya daan. Sa ang nagipili. So we're going to we're going to remove the spirit of lethargy that attacks the family. Gusto tang tango nato ni ng espiritu sa katapulog kawalay gana siyang nagataki sa tua isip mo sa kapamilya. And I asked the Lord, I said, what what spirit of God are we to replace the spirit of lethargy with? What, yeah. when, when we cast something out, then what do we get filled with? Nya sa di nangutana sa si Ginoo ng Lord, unsa man nga imong espiritu, unsa sa imong mga espiritu? Ang gusto ni mga ipuli ni ining espiritu sa katapol. And I was surprised by what he said. Kunya natingal ako unsa ang iyang giingon. Because it seems so obvious. Kay klaro, kay mura klaro na mga gutpod. But he said he said I want you to release the spirit of fire. Wow. Ingon ang Ginoo nga gusto nako na mabuhi ani mo ang espiritu sa kalayo. Fire. Kalayo. For many reasons. Tungod sa daghang mga rason. So I want you all. I'm asking you all to engage right now in what the Spirit of God is doing. Nag so on. Engage with. Naghang yu mi sa matagpos sa nato tere nga mukoperita. Unsa unsa ginabuhat sa balang Espiritu? Open your heart to Him right now. Ablihi ang ang kasing kasing ni mo ikson para sa ginoo karon. Give Him access to your heart. Tugot isa tagay isa o kas kanang Agianan nga makasulot siya sa imong kasing-kasing. 
I want to thank you, Lord, that you exposed this spirit that's been attacking this family. I want to give you praise for that. And in the name of Jesus, by the blood of the Lamb, we command this spirit over us to be broken. In the name of Jesus, we command this spirit and this spirit wrapped around this spirit with apathy. We bind you. We curse you. We command you to go to the feet of Jesus right now in the name of Jesus. We don't want you. We don't want this spirit on us any longer. We command you to get out of us, to go in Jesus' mighty name. By the authority of the word, the authority of the name of Jesus, and the authority of the blood of the Lamb, we command you and all your other attaching spirits to leave us now in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, is there any other spirits that you want to deal with right now? Is there anything else you want to say to us or to expose or to identify? I'm asking you to speak to each one of us individually right now. Speak to us. Is there anything we need to confess to you? Is there anything we need to ask help for and humble ourselves before you right now? Because we know that we have access to the throne. You said, come boldly to the throne of grace to obtain mercy in your time of need. We know we have what we ask. We know that you're here, your presence is here to heal. Not to condemn, but to heal. To bring healing and restoration to us right now. Every lying devil, we take authority of you. We command you to go right now. Go right now. Every mindset. Now, I believe the Spirit of God is revealing to us, to some of us, these mindsets that we've had. And we need to repent. We need to say, Lord, I'm sorry for catching and hanging on to that mindset. Nagatuo ako nga ang ginoo, nagapadayag sa atua sa mga panghuna-huna or sa kunsa ito mga ginatuuhan nga sayop nga kinahanglan nato nga pangayuan o kapasailuanan ato ang hinulsulan mga ayot nagpasailo mag hinulsulta believing that lie about ourselves nung kanang mga baka nga atong gituuhan may tungod sa atong kagalingon or about somebody else o may tungod sa ubang tao let's ask the Lord forgive us for hanging on to that mindset mga ayot nagtabang mga ayot tagpang, mga ayot tagpasailo sa ginoo nga na, na, nga ato anang gibarugan kana nga panghunahuna There's power in forgiveness. Amen. Dako kayo ang kahimuan ni Son sa pagpasaylo. It's on your forgiven. Son gipasaylo na ka sa Ginoo. It's on your forgiven. Son gipasaylo na ka sa Ginoo. It's on your forgiven. Son gipasaylo na ka sa Ginoo. Once and for all, it's on you are forgiven. Sa makausa, Son gipasaylo na ka sa Ginoo. Whom the sun sets free is free indeed. Siya nga gipasaylo sa Ginoo, siya nga gihimong gawas nun sa Ginoo, gawas nun na gayud. We thank you, Lord, for breaking that power of that spirit of lethargy and apathy over your people right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we're asking you to show us individually and corporately what are the next steps, what would you have us to do to stay free in Jesus' name, to show us. And then you said, Lord, to replace that spirit with your fire. I don't know all what that entails. I don't know all what that means. Lord, but in obedience to what I believe you said, we're asking for the fire of God. There's cleansing fire. There's redeeming fire. There's this fire that burns up all the dross in our lives. Ooh. You 
had said you had said through the prophets you're you're going to send this jubilee anointing to help us to become the men and women of God you called us to be that the jubilee anointing would do in us what we cannot do ourselves I feel like there's some of that releasing this jubilee anointing upon the body of Christ we're asking you right now to send your fire to send this fire that you want to send and we by faith we release that fire right now into our hearts into our minds the fire of God to fill us with the fire of God fill us with renewed passion of the Lord a hunger for you a thirst for you Lord, I love the prayers this morning. We want to fall in love with you. We want to be addicted to you. We want to be addicted to your presence. We want to love your presence more than we love ourselves, Lord. Wow. Wow, the fire. The fire's falling right now. The fire is falling right now. Ang kalayo nagahulog na karon. Ginahulog wow. sa Ginoo karon wow. ang iyang kalayo. The fire is falling right now. Ginahulog sa Ginoo ang kalayo karon. Oh. Hi. Thank you for the fire, Lord. Amen. Thank you for the cleansing fire. We need more. More fire. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy, oh God. Receive that fire by faith. Dawata ka ng akalayo igsoon. Pinagi sa pagtuo. Accept His love. Accept His mercy. Accept His grace. Dawata ang gugma sa kinu. Dawata ang iyang aluoy. Dawata ang iyang grasa. You are forgiven. You are set free. Ipasaylo na ka sa Ginoo. Gihimo na kaniyang gawas noon. You are made whole. Gihimo na kaniyang tibuok. More. Oh. Lord, let your fire fall on the children. Amen. We just reject every lie that would try to speak to us in Jesus name. We shut up the voice of the enemy right now. We silence the voice of the enemy right now. In the name of Jesus. The fire, the fire of God is falling right now. Kalayo sa Ginoo, iya ginahulog karon. Allow yourself to get distracted. Ayo tuguti ang inyong kaugalingon nga ma-distract mo. It focus, stay focused on the Lord. Pagpapilin sa pagtutok sa Ginoo. He's doing something here. Nay ginabuhat ang Ginoo dire. More, oh my God! More, release your fire, the fire of God, and do a complete work. Have your will in us right now, in the name of Jesus. Whatever this fire is, that what you mean, what's your purpose of this fire? I don't want to just think what I already know, Lord. There's something deeper in this purpose of releasing this fire, and I want your purpose. I want your purpose to be fulfilled in each one of us. I'm asking you to fulfill the purpose of this fire in each one of us right now. Help us to stay focused. Help us to receive the fire. Help us not to get in a hurry and rush. Fire. Fire. Cleansing fire. Redeeming fire. Transforming fire. Fall on us. Fall on us. Fall on us. 
Don't leave anyone here out. Don't leave anyone untouched. And those who believe and those who think that you're beyond, that they're beyond your love. Lord, I ask for you to release the fire of love, the fire of the Father's love. Whoa! Father's love. Who? Who? Yeah. Well, I release to you the Father's love, the fire of the Father's love. That's what many of us are lacking. I'm not talking about earthly father. I'm talking about heavenly father releasing the heavenly fire of the father's love. Amen. Mo na'y dagkulang sa atua. Daghat ka na to. Dili lang yung tanon nga amahan. Apan, kulang sa atua. Ang 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 gugma ang gikan sa langit. Kalayo sa gugma sa amahan. Asking you to increase, increase Holy Spirit. Increase your fire that will burn out all of the dross in us, that burn out all those lies, burn out all those wrong mindsets about ourselves and about you. We want to see your love. We want to experience your love. We want to know your love. Fire. Fire, the fire of God, the fire of His love is falling, falling, falling. If you can imagine, open your arms wide open to catch as much of this love that's falling as you can. Kung ma-imagine mo, Igson, sa kadako ang kalayo sa ginoo, ablihi ang imo ang mga bukton, kanang glapda pagtawat, kana nga kalayo sa ginoo nga iyang ginahulog sa imo a imagine you can see that love falling and you're just capturing it in your arm imagine i saw nga much as you can imagine kutob sa imong buhat unsa kalapad ang imong kaya nga dawaton kini nga gugma nga iyang ginahulog padulong sa imo a oh 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 god we need your love oh father we need your love These are your sons. We are your sons. We are your daughters. Don't let us leave here today the same way that we came. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us, oh God. It's your mercy that you're releasing this, this fire to us right now. In every yoke, in every bondage, We take authority over every yoke and every bondage over this family. In Jesus' mighty name, we bind every yoke. We bind every bondage in the name of Jesus. And we ask you, Father, that your love would crush every yoke and bondage to powder before your people right now. In Jesus' name. To crush it. That it would never be able to come back to crush it into powder in the name of Jesus. Be destroyed by the Spirit of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Ooh. Thank you, Lord. Crush it. Let your love crush it. Let your love crush us. Oh, break us wide open like that alabaster box. Yeah. Oh, this way, this way, church, way takes the on. Hula takes the on. Hula. Don't get in a hurry. We're in no hurry. Ayaw pagdali. Kaya wala man tayong dali. Hulat lang. Let the Lord have His way. Tugoti ang ginoo ng mamuhat sa iyang pamaagi.
Claim this among the nations. Prepare war. Steer up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. I am a strong Amen. warrior. Amen. I am. Sundalo. Amen. Kuskan. Daloko. Amen. Sundalo. I am. Let the weak say, I am strong. Ang nagmaluyahod mo sulti. I declare it. Kuskan ako. I declare it in agreement with your word, Lord. I am strong in the Lord. I am a sundalo for the Lord. Paul said, when I'm weak, that's when you're strong in me, Holy Spirit. Mel, the Lord is going to use you. Mel, gamitin ka sa ginoo to set captives free na magdala o kagawasan sa mga ginapos to heal the broken heart na mag-ayos sa mga nabuak o kasing-kasing everything that you've been through, Mel ang tanan niya ay mong giagian, Mel the Lord is using that gamitin to sa ginoo ginagamit to sa ginoo He's using that for His glory. Ginagamit to sa Ginoo para sa iyang kahimayaan. Helping to strengthen you. Para nga matabangan ka, nga maligon, makuskan. Giving you His passion and His heart for the people. Ginahatag niya ang iyang, iyang gugma para sa mga tao. So that you can go forth, Mel. Aron niya makalakaw ka. As a, as a free soldier of the Lord. Kung makapadayon niya, kung isip mo sa ka, gawas nun niya sundalo para sa Ginoo. To set other captives yung magdala o kagawasan sa uban pang mga ginapos. Especially to heal the broken heart. Ilabi pa sa pag-ayo sa mga nabuak ang kasing-kasing. For your heart has been broken. Diin nga ang imo ang kasing-kasing na buak po. And the heart has been broken even before the Lord. No, ang buak ang imo ang kasing-kasing bisan yan eh. Diha sa ginoo. God's going to use your broken heart to heal many broken hearts. Ugamiton ang imo ang buak ang kasing-kasing para sa pag-ayo sa uban pang buak ang kasing-kasing. So understand from this day forward that you're never the same in Jesus' name. Busa sabta sukad karong adlaw nga dili na ka maura sa giapon sa pangalan ni Jesus. You never believe those lies about you. Ayaw na ayaw na tuuhi pa pagbalik ato mga bakak mahitungod sa imo ah. Sa pangalan ni Jesus. Lord, release more fire. The fire of your love, the Father's love to us right now. Right now. So let's begin to worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. Worship team, let's begin to worship. Set your hearts in worship right now. Isoon, ibutang ang imo ang kasing-kasing diha sa pagdaig sa Ginoo.